All right, what's up, knockoff Chris Fix here. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I recently had a problem with this little uh, 1988 Buick Riata. I'm not going to go into depth at explaining what it is. I'll put another video of mine in here if you want to know that. Or I don't know. You should look up Riata. You don't know who I am. You don't care. You probably already left because I haven't immediately started. But I'm going to be putting in one of uh i'll grab it in a second i'll be putting in a fan into this car today you'll be seeing that i'll show you how to do it uh very very trash probably it'll be a very trash guide but i'll get it in i'll get it in uh because i somewhat know what i'm doing very 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 little bit i i'm in school for it <laughs> Uh, but with with that being without further ado, I'll go ahead and start doing that We'll go and pop the hood in the little car Just like so I'm not gonna the doors are locked. So I'm not gonna waste your time anymore. All right back in the car Yeah, I need to change out the fan as this is the car. I drive every single day It's also got more problems. So you'll see it in the future uh, You'll see it in the future soon. This dash does not work <laughs> yeah, it needs to be fixed <laughs> um, Pretty much it As far as that goes As well as the window But that's not what the video is about So go ahead and Pop the hood Now as you can see I have the hood popped But unfortunately my hood struts don't work That's why I have this fine device right here I call it the hood keeper upper 9000 uh, It works really good Fantastic It's a phenomenal device An invention that I have patented uh, And well, I'm in a bind Hold on I'll be right back I'll show you how it works And as you can see there the hood propolator 9000 device Entertainment thing works perfectly fine. It's actually kind of in a bad spot. So I might be uh, doing another jump cut and saying be right back for the fifth, 48th, bajillion, million different time. Uh, and right there, there's my issue. That bad boy. It went bad on me, or at least I think it did. Um, it tried to kill me the other day. Because I was going down the road, had the AC on. Uh-oh, all of a sudden, cabin starts filling up with smoke. Oh, no. They almost died. <laughs> the car was probably about to catch fire. I thought it was on fire. Luckily, it wasn't. Nothing happened. But I promptly bought a replacement. As well as a bunch of parts for that car. But the, the video's not about that car. Um, the video's not about that car. So... We're gonna go ahead and try to remove that, and I'll be right back. All right, so it's really simple to get that off. All it is is I got this El Cheapo ratchet here, but a seven, or yeah, seven, fill focus. There we are, seven millimeter. Uh, socket on a little ratchet or you can use a wrench doesn't really matter the most difficult part is getting to it the engine's still hot so that kind of burned <laughs> and you didn't really see it but there you have it that's not out yet but I'll show it to you when it's out well, as you can see, I got the fan out, and this is what a fan from a Riata looks like. Pretty similar to the one out of my DeVille, actually. In fact, they're probably the same fan now that I look at it. Same bolt, same everything. Uh, the one I bought, I'll go ahead and show it to you, is just the top motor part. So I'm going to have to take the actual blades, which are a little burnt, but they look good. Because I think I said earlier in the video, but I'll go ahead and say again. That fan right there, the motor was burning up and probably about near caught on fire. Well, we have a new straight from Rock Auto uh, fan motor right here. Of course, I'm going to have to reuse, going to have to take this little nut off of that one and do some assembly. Go ahead and open it up, show you what it looks like. 
This is the complete deal right there. So much better. Looks so much better. See, it even says uh, Vito. Who, who knows? Made in China. The best things come from China. Everyone knows. Go ahead and set that box away. And uh, I'll be right back. And there we have it. A brand new uh, fan. Brand new. Well, the blade's old, but the blade's just a piece of plastic. Brand new fan. We'll go ahead and install it, and I'll see if it still smokes. Hopefully not. I'd like AC again. That'd be very nice. Okay, as you can clearly, as you can see now, I have the new fan, even though it has old blades, right there in the spot. These things are a pain, though, to put back in. Uh, it's not that they're hard to slide right back in through everything. This is the first time I've actually changed this one, though, on this little engine. But these little V6s, the Cadillacs, are really hard to get out and put back in. Um, but the hard part is getting it to stay lined up where you can put these little tiny screws back in. I was calling them bolts, but they're actually screws. And once you get the top one in, it's really not that hard anymore because it all lines up. But I'm not gonna be able to film putting in the uh, screws. I don't have a tripod, I need one. But I don't have one, and this is like a two-hand job. So, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> I'll be back right after it. They go in the same way they came out, just reverse. All right, and uh, as you can see, I've gotten it back in. You just want to take and snug them. You don't want to tighten these too tight. Might break them. I've already snugged them, but that's just for example. I snug them up, um, and then go ahead and start plugging everything back in. Like, uh, I think this went like this. Don't know what it went to. What did this go to? Hmm. Well, we'll figure that out in a second. All right, now that it's in, let's make sure this car does not try to kill me this time. Uh, when I try to tur do the simple task of turning on my AC. We'll see if it smokes, makes any noises. It'll be great. And then communication, I know. Alright, I know I've gone quiet it's because I'm trying to I'm constant I'm trying to do stuff. I don't know. I don't know why I went quiet. Okay. So it doesn't appear to be smoking. I don't smell smoke. Well, uh, I don't know. I might have fixed it. Who knows? I don't... F hmm. Okay. I know this segment is long, me not talking, but... uh. All right. So now we got the AC in. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Well, I know it works. I checked it for a shorter video. So, surprise ruined. You're welcome. Now, it's going to tell me communication error detected. If the screen comes on. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Communication. And as I said, does work. We had a little bit of a problem I should have recorded, but I didn't. Where it was stuck in uh, defrost. It was stuck in the defrost. It was just blowing the, the airs up onto the windshields. Um, we fixed it. It was a little vacuum line. Uh, it was a little vacuum line. I've already closed the hood, so trash YouTuber, I know. But little two vacuum lines, I accidentally broke one. We got a little piece of dry rotted, half gone, 20 year old um, hose and connected it. It's not like it's running anything but air through it, so whatever. And um, 
I had to connect another one on the bottom I forgot to connect. So that's the reason it was blowing air on the defrost. I still don't have heat. I could fix that in this video, but I'm running out of daylight and it's not really that cold yet. So that might be a separate video of in itself if you want to see that. This is just a little smaller thing. Uh, I will be replacing or fixing the dash here soon in another video. Go ahead and turn off that so you can hear me better. And that little 300ZX I showed later in the video, I'm currently working on it right now. Uh, we're trying to get it back running. Be the first time it's been started in 12 years. I have the jack over there and everything. Um, I'm just waiting on parts right now. Really, that's it. That's all I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on uh, the water pump. And then we'll go ahead and I'll go over there and I'll start working on it. If I don't go ahead and jack it up tomorrow. I could have gone ahead and dropped the tank, but I was working on this thing today to get uh, get my AC back. Because AC is pretty important when you live in the south. Um, other than that, if you made it this far into the video, this is probably a shorter video. I hadn't really totaled it up after all the videos and the really quick snipping them together and editing. Uh, editing magic. Um, but if you like the video and you want to see more of this kind of stuff, you want to see me be more of a, you know, knockoff Chris Fix, worst channel on YouTube, uh, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, share, all that fun stuff. I've got more projects coming in the future. I'm trying to make longer, more edited videos, more interesting stuff. Uh, if you've been with the channel for a while, you know, I used to just record or I still kind of do just record a car that's sitting there but I've been trying to move away from that because it's really not that interesting. Uh, so we'll just see how this works out. Uh, I don't plan on quitting anytime soon, but it's just starting to become more of a hobby if it doesn't go anywhere. But other than that, if you made it that far and you listen to my rambling, thank you for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate it and have a good one.